Today I'm gonna to show you how to get most out of your social media profiles. And not only that, because you can use this product in so many ways. Uh, today I'll be reviewing Linkable, which is a brand new platform that allows you to create kind of a mini landing pages. It's a really, really cool software. I'm gonna show you everything on the inside. But before I do so, I wanna mention that there is a link in the description of this video. Uh, it will redirect you to my website where you can find out more about Linkable here. You can see all the information, what's included, etc. And also uh, you're going to get these extra upgrades uh, if you pick up Linkable through my link. For example, Video Funnels is a, a really cool cloud-based software that allows you to set up video funnels that are linked to each other, uh, where you can also set up those cool call to actions where your visitors can send audio or video messages or text messages. You're gonna get this app completely free, uh, as well as video pages. This is an other video product that allows you to set up video pages with multiple videos on a single page. Uh, this is ideal for courses, for uh, training, uh, trainers, for sales videos, etc. Very cool as well. Uh, simply check out all those bonuses on this page. You're gonna get them completely free. Uh, and also when you scroll down, you can see the funnel and the pricing as well. And as you can see here, Linkable starts for $34 and it comes with a bundle deal as well. So uh, yeah, let's dive into this and let me show you exactly what Linkable is all about. Okay, quick interruption here. Uh, what you just saw was the introduction of my review of Linkable that I did back in April this year. Now, right now they're reopening their product again because they're relaunching this as an agency version, meaning that right now you're going to get 25 done for you templates and more after the launch, uh, plus extra features like you're now able to add appointments into your pages directly with, uh, from Appointomatic, uh, podcasts, you can add that into your pages directly. So they added new stuff in it and they're relaunching it now and you can get access to it for launch price again uh, so that's what i wanted to mention the rest what you will see in my review is exactly the same you can see how powerful this software is so uh keep watching the rest of the review but now you know that you're going to get extra additional features as well so Right now I'm logged in, this is the dashboard. And inside of this dashboard, you can create those mini landing pages. So let me show you a few of those landing pages so that you can see what is possible with Linkable. So I'm opening four new pages now, and this is the first page. So this is about uh, photography, where you can see that this page has been created specifically for a photographer, as you can see here. So it's kind of a landing page. And what you will get is one link that you can add to your social media profiles where you can add everything on a single page. For example, this is a coaching site. Let's say you're having a business on Instagram. You simply share one link uh, where people can sign up for your newsletter, uh, where they can see your work, where they can register for a free webinar. Uh, there's so many templates. This is also a really nice one. I like this template a lot uh, that comes with Linkable. Here, personal training, group fitness class, uh, the different pricing plans, etc. So basically, um, let me show you one more thing. This is one that I created myself. So this is my kind of a bonus page here for Linkable, as you can see here, get Linkable here, get the bundle deal. And here you can see the free upgrades again. So I created this page with Linkable and I have a pretty big screen. So normally people would see it like this when they scroll in. So you have an FAQ in here uh, that you can add to your pages, images, text, etc. cetera. Uh, my private uh, or my affiliate disclaimer here, my social media profiles. Uh, these pages are so easy to create and let me close them inside of Linkable. Now, one thing that also comes with Linkable is that you can add multiple profiles. So as you can see here uh, at the right side, uh, I created multiple profiles. So you can see Tim, Devon and Infinity Design. So when I switch to Devon here, look what happens. These are all different kind of pages. And when I switch to Infinity Designs, you can see other designs in here. So you can create all different kinds of profiles so that you can create those pages for other businesses really easily. And uh, what I just showed you uh, was actually on full screen, but when you 
look at those pages here. Let me open the one more time here. So this is a full screen, but all these pages are built for mo for mobile. So as you can see here, let me scroll through the screen here. Do you see that? This looks beautiful on mobile. So actually you're creating those mobile pages first. Uh, and then you can also see how they are on uh, on desktop as well. So let me make my screen bigger again. And then let me show you how you can create those pages. So first you're gonna choose which profile you wanna create those pages in. And then simply you click here on create new page. And inside of this page, you can choose from a bunch of templates. So you can see here at the left side, you have all different kinds of template category types. Uh, and here also, so these are those bi those bio templates, but you can also create those mini web templates. So if you wanna have a mini bio template, uh, you simply scroll down. So let's say you wanna create an event. Then you can see here, you got two types of uh, templates you can choose from. And when you click on this template, your website is basically done and you can modify every single part on this mini landing page. So this is a mini, mini landing page, as you can see, uh, which you can add to your Instagram, to your Facebook, to your YouTube URL, etc. So here are only four buttons and you can change everything in here. Uh, so when you publish this, your page is ready. So this will look a little bit different. So when we visit this page, you can see this is how the page looks like on a desktop. Now, those are the different things between the two different types. So let's create a new page again. So between the bio templates, this is more um, focused on mobile and the mini web template. Now, what we're going to do right now is we're going to start from scratch so that you can see exactly how it works. So you simply click on start from scratch and now you can start designing your page and add con uh, attributes to your pages. So at the left side here, you can see add new blocks. So when I click on this, look at all those options, what you can add to your pages. So you can add your avatar, a banner, a button link, a contact, a FAQ, a get in touch, a headline, image carousel, image grid, a list group, a media and text, payments, social networks. So what you're going to do is really simple. If you want to add an avatar to the top, you simply click on avatar and boom, there it automatically adds your photo. And I have a Gmail address, so it automatically re recognizes my photo as well. But if I like to change that, I can change that in here as well by choosing my own avatar. And I can type my own name in here. So instead of Tay Verdau, I can say Tim Verdau. And now I'm starting to create my pages. And everything, oh, I didn't save this, sorry. And uh, let me add this again, avatar Tim Verdau was because my recording window was on top of it. So let me save this. Boom, there we are. So now this has been saved. So what you can do here is you can add new blocks as many as you like. So if you'd like to add a banner or a video, so let's say I wanna create, uh, let's say a headline in here. I can say, well, linkable review. So I'm gonna show you how I created those, this page that I just showed you. You simply select the text in here and then you align it to the center and then you can change the font sizes, etc. You can even do some more advanced things. So as you can see here, uh, when I scroll down now, you can also highlight some content. Uh, so that means that you can bounce it. So s stuff like this here, you can bounce the text or you can make it pulse. So this is better for buttons if you do pulsing, for example. So I'm not gonna do that right now, but also you can, uh, add some more or less spacing between some blocks. I'm gonna show you that a little later. And then you can choose from the different fonts, etc. So I really like the Poppins fonts always. And then you save this. And then you start simply adding new blocks. So if you wanna add a video block, you simply scroll to the video block, you click on it, and you can add a video URL. So let's say you wanna do YouTube, Vimeo, or Dropbox. So in this case, I wanna do a YouTube video. So what we're gonna do is we're going to YouTube and we simply, let's say we simply take one of those videos, copy a link address, and then you go back and you paste that link in here. And now you're gonna hit save and boom, there's the video on your page. So simply add new blocks. And this goes so quickly as you can see. So if you'd like to add a splitter in here, I always like those white splitters. You can do that as well. 
you can change the colors, the width, uh, an icon splitter if you like to have an icon up front. Um, super, super simple. And you can simply add new blocks. So let me add a text again. So let me say here, uh, my exclusive bonuses. And then center this again. And then we're gonna do this 48 pixels. Oh, 48 pixels. No, this is a little bit too big. So I'm gonna do 36. Yes, I'm gonna do this bold. And a little bit less, 28. All right, look at this. Boom, my excuse bones. And now we're going to move a little quicker. So we're gonna do a banner in here. So you can choose a banner and you can say, okay, let's say I wanna use one of these pictures that I'm having in here, the video pages, and you're gonna click, okay, add, and boom, there it is. And you can simply add those new blocks. So you can add buttons. So if you wanna add a button, so get it here. And you can add your URL, HTTPS, and then google.com, for example. Oh, HTTPS, that's not good, HTTPS. And you can change everything in here. So when you scroll down here, you can see this is a blue button, but if you like to make this another color, let's say you wanna make it green, you can do that as well. And then you can simply hit save and you can add your next block. So if you wanna add another image, you click on banner again, and then you choose your banner, you choose your other image. And here you can also choose from Pixabay, from Unsplash and from Usine if you have connected your Usine account to Linkable. In this case, I'm gonna simply choose another one here, this one, and now here's the second bonus and we're gonna hit save and I can do another button, for example. So as you can see here, let me hit save. Um, and add another button here. As you can see, it goes so super quickly. You can build those pages so quickly and then hit save. Now, the cool thing is uh, you need to add your URL. So HTTPS, Google, google.com, and then I'm gonna hit save. Um, the cool thing also is that you can also schedule some things. So in this case, uh, when you want to schedule this button, and this is one of the upgrades, by the way, I have the pro version here. Uh, but what you can do here is when you click on advanced features in here, uh, let me see where it was. Uh, boom, boom, boom. One second. Oh, here it is, this schedule button here. You see that? It says schedule. You can also schedule buttons to appear. So let's say you have a sign up form on your page and you wanna have that sign up form appear on the date when people can start registering. You can say, I wanna have this uh, button or this sign up form to appear at the 25th, for example. And then you can apply that. And then this button will only be visible or the sign up form will only be visible during that specific date. And again, you can do some other things as well. So with the buttons, for example, let me save this one. When you have a button, I really like this extra option in here, the highlight, I like the pulse one, you see? Now it's going to pulse this button to get a little bit more attention to this specific button. So you can add all those things here like I just showed you in those blocks. So there are a lot more things and that's why I showed you some example pages at the beginning so that you could see uh, what you can add to your pages. So for example, when I go back to my page, for example, one thing that I really like here is when you scroll down on this page that I created here, you can see this button also, it wobbles, you know, it, it pulls, pulses on my page. Uh, but when you scroll down, I also made an example here and the extra bonuses, check them out here. You see, you've got some, some a nice slider here on your page as well. You can add those as well. And also those uh, FAQ questions, etc. It's so super easy to create those things. And then once you're done, you can start publishing your page. Now the cool thing, and this is also one of the upgrades, is the pro upgrade. Uh, within the profile settings, when you click on here, you can also run this on your own domain. So you can create multiple profiles and for each profile, you can run those pages on another domain. So when I go to profile pages, uh, to my profile settings on Devon's account here, I can create another C name and I can add this to another domain. So I can perfectly build out those pages for clients 
and then add them to their own domain or to their own subdomain uh, by changing the profile settings in here and change the C names. And this makes it a really cool tool to use this as a commercial product to create pages for clients as well. And as you could see here, rock solid band, let me quick, let me show you a few other ones here. Those are also, and these are simply templates that comes with linkable, as you can see here. I think these pages look really good, right? Here also the FAQ sign up form and the social media profiles. This is a coffee landing page, as you can see in here. Um, those are really easy to create. I didn't actually create those. I simply took those templates and I saved them. And that's how easy you can create those pages. Now within those pages, you also uh, can set this as a main page within a profile. You can duplicate this. Uh, you have some integrations. So one of the options inside of the builder is also to add payment buttons. So here at the left side, you also see manage orders. So when you click on manage orders, when you have added your payment details to Linkable, you will see all the orders coming in here and with every option in here. So we have the orders, the analytics and the leads and my contacts, you can select the profile in here. So I can say, I wanna see the orders for Devon's pages, for example, for the page Rock Solid Band. And then you can see exactly how many sales came in for this specific page. And if you wanna see the other page uh, for Coffee Rico, you simply select that page and you will see all the orders that are come in, coming in for that specific page on Devon's profile. And you can switch those profiles in here. So the same thing is for the analytics here. When I click on the analytics, uh, you can see this is my bio page. When I go to my perfect health plan, for example, I can see exactly how many visitors I got. So actually this is my, this is myself, right? So you can see the desktop, uh, if it is a desktop or a mobile phone, if this, what kind of browser this is, you can see the total unique views, the total views, uh, total revenue earned on this specific page and the most clicks that you have. And you can choose a date range where you can check those anal uh, analytics as well. And you can select for each and every single page. So uh, my linkable review, for example, I can see, okay, uh, I have four views, I have total 17 views. So again, this is myself. Uh, but just to show you uh, the analytics of each specific page and profile. So I can also switch to Devon in here and see all the analytics of Devon's pages, simply select them. And the same thing is for leads as well. When people sign up to Linkable, all leads will be stored in here as well. And you can also connect your autoresponder. We'll show you that as well. And again, you can choose the profile from here. So let's say I wanna see every lead that came in on Devon's pages on rock solid band for example if there is a registration form all the leads will be added in here as well and the same of course for contacts here as well all contacts for the specific profile can be seen in here and then we got the integrations as well so you can integrate with paypal stripe and raise your pay if you connect those you can add those payments to your pages to your mini pages as well. You can connect, go to webinar. You connect all the, can connect all those autoresponders. So we have a Weber, Active Campaign, Get Response, Eye Contact, MailChimp, MailerLite, Sending Blue and Send Lane. And then also if you have a Usign account, you can connect that as well so that you can get the images that you created in Usign inside of your pages. And that is basically what Linkable is all about. As you can see, it's super easy to create a page. Simply click on create new page, select one of the templates. If you like to have a mini web template, simply select that from here. If you like to have furniture, simply check out this furniture page. Yes, you like to have it, click it, boom, and your page is ready. And in here, you can also see how it looks like on desktop. So this is the desktop version. And inside here, you also have some extra options which I, have, which I haven't showed yet, like the page settings. So you can also decide your own slug. So if you do not brand this on your own domain or if you brand this on your own domain, you can also decide uh, to change the URL in here to whatever you want, something like this to whatever you want. And then this page will be the page that this page is published on. You can also have some SEO settings in here, title, description, type, uh, sensitive. 
if there is sensitive content on this website, you can allow this or add something to your website that people have to agree with that. And also retargeting codes to your hats and body. You can do that as well. And let's say you have created your page and you want to create the design, the appearance. You can click on this appearance button in here. And then at the right side, you can change the different type of fonts that are being used on your website. Or maybe you don't like to have this background. Then you can change this color to a gradient color, for example. If you like to have it something like this. I personally really like those gradient backgrounds. And then you could choose radial, linear, or different types of gradients. And also from the top, if you'd like to have it from the top, you can change that from the center. Uh, or you can add an image as a background. And if you don't, don't like anything of this, you can select a, another theme for this website. So if you say, okay, I like one of these themes, you simply select this theme and now this will be applied to this specific page. As you can see here, now this theme has been applied. And of course, then you need to change the font size. So you simply click on the font size or the font colors in here. You click on save and now you can read this and it looks beautiful. And everything is super, super simple. Watch it on desktop. This is how it looks on desktop right now. And that's how easy Linkable is. I really, really love this software because it works so super easy. You can even duplicate, copy, um, duplicate pages in here. This is one of the upgrades as well. So let's go to my page. When you uh, click on the link in the description of this video, um, you will see this page here uh, with all the information. And when you scroll down, you'll see my bonuses here. And then when you scroll down at the bottom, you can see the upgrades here. So the front end starts for $34, where you can create profiles, um, where you can create pages under each profile, uh, include so many links under each creative page. I don't think it's smart to go over all of this, but this is included inside of the front end. Now, I got the pro version. Uh, and the pro version here gives you the ability, let me zoom in a little bit more, uh, gives you the ability here to schedule blocks to go live. So that's the option that I showed you. And also the ability to schedule links to go live, uh, ability to highlight priority content. So that was the pulsing button uh, that I showed you. So that's part of the pro upgrade and also the C name mapping so that you can run it on your own domain as well here as the cloning from the pages. So I, adv I advise you to go over this page and, and check out what's included inside of the upgrades so that you can decide if this is something that you want. Uh, and even there are more upgrades as well. So you have unlimited branding removal, etc., cetera, um, to come up with unlimited profiles. Um, the template club here and also the agency plus reseller license. And then there's also a bundle link, which I haven't specified on here, but you can check it out when you click on this link here, special bundle deal. Uh, this basically will give you the whole funnel for a discounted, huge discounted price. So if you think this is a serious tool that you're going to use and you know, you can use this in so many ways. Like I showed you here, you can you can build full web pages. I mean, this is a web page built with Linkable. It's very cool, very easy. It's very clean. Um, yeah. So if if this is interesting to you, then maybe the bundle deal can be interesting for you. Uh, but maybe the front end is enough for you. Uh, you can decide that. Simply check out every detail on my page here. I scroll too hard uh, for every detail what's included. And that is what Linkable is all about. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. I always try to answer your questions. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to see more of those reviews. And please hit that thumbs button. I would appreciate that. It also helps to make my video visible on YouTube. So uh, yeah. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.